As we all know, finding and selecting the right approach is a crucial component of problem solving. This is also true in the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. In the build-up to the June 12 summit in Singapore between top leader of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, Kim Jong-un, and US President Donald Trump, China has been persistently supporting any efforts by the concerned parties to resolve the nuclear issue on the peninsula through dialogue. The contributions made by China throughout the entire process are well recognized by the international community. Stefan Dujaric, spokesman for the UN Secretary-General Antonio Guterres, said China has an important part to play in the situation on the Korean peninsula, and it has played a positive role. US President Donald Trump also commended China on Wednesday, saying China is very helpful. At their summit on Tuesday, Kim and Trump reportedly agreed on the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula in exchange for security guarantees for the DPRK. Trump announced to end costly war games with South Korea to create conditions for continuing the denuclearization talks between the United States and the DPRK. He realized and publicly admitted that the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula would take time. These statements represent a big change from the previous position held by the U.S. administration and reflect the effectiveness of the proposals made by China to resolve the nuclear issue on the peninsula. China has long advocated a dual-track approach, seeking the denuclearization of the peninsula while establishing a peace mechanism. China has also put forward the suspension for suspension proposal, which pushes Pyongyang to suspend its nuclear and missile activities in exchange for the suspension of a large-scale U.S.-South Korea military exercises. Chinese President Xi Jinping, in talks with Kim Jong-un in Beijing and Dalian, said China supports the DPRK, adhering to the denuclearization of the peninsula and engaging in dialogue with the United States to resolve the issue. The events and the process leading up to the Singapore summit have also proven that the two sides' approaches are the most practical and effective way to denuclearize the peninsula and establish lasting peace on it. As a Northeast Asian country, China knows only too well maintaining peace and stability on the Korean Peninsula is in the interests of all sides concerned, including China itself. This explains why China has been putting so much energy into the matter. The Kim-Trump meeting in Singapore marks another step in resolving the nuclear issue on the peninsula, but difficult negotiations between the two sides still lie ahead. China hopes that the United States and the DPRK will work to eliminate barriers, build mutual trust, overcome difficulties, reach a basic consensus, and make substantial progress in promoting denuclearization and establishing a peace mechanism on the peninsula. Chinese State Councillor and Foreign Minister Wang Yi has called on the relevant parties to make efforts towards these goals, while pledging China would continue to play a constructive role.